Adding Hamburg data to Lestrada follows the same process you currently use in your laboratory. You first log your sample. You next fabricate and test your specimens. You choose the specimens for testing. You perform the test on your Hamburg machine. Then you input the results into Lestrada. Lestrada has two options for capturing Hamburg data. They're both accessed from the mixture page in the asphalt testing module by pressing this pencil. This first way to enter Hamburg information is a simple data entry where you document the number of gyrations, specimen height, mass, air voids, and Hamburg test information. It is labeled 324-04. There is a second option labeled 324-17. The 32417 is a much more comprehensive test and we will cover this version in this video. Once you've logged your sample, the first step is to do the specific gravity of the samples you fabricated for potentially testing. You do that by going to this line labeled Wheel Tracking Bulk Specific Gravity and accessing the grid with this pencil on the right. The pencil launches Lestrada Standard Bulk Specific Gravity Entry Area. This grid accommodates up to eight specimens, from which you will select four for testing. You can also choose one of the supported test methods for bulk specific gravity in Lestrada in this grid as well. Once I've entered the GMB information for my Hamburg samples, I then use the pencil in the next line below to access the Hamburg test itself. So the first thing I need to do is I want to import the bulk specific gravity data into this grid. I do that by using this blue button in the top left. Now that my bulk specific gravity information has been imported from the previous screen, I'm now going to complete data entry by entering specimen height and gyration information. I next decide of these six specimens, which four am I going to use for my testing? I use this grouping selection to go ahead and pick which samples I'm going to use for my right specimens and which samples I'm going to use for my left specimens. Every time I make a specimen selection, Lestrada will calculate on the fly the average air voids of my two selections. Now that my selections are made, I'm going to go ahead and perform the test and come back to Lestrada for data entry. Now that the test is complete, I finish data entry by adding the test information to this lower grid. As an option, I can attach multiple documents to this test as well. In this example, I've attached two common documents. The first are the actual machine output files. The second common example is the actual report from the machine itself. The last plan change we have for this test is to automate the data entry of the RUT test results by creating an import of data files from Hamburg machines.